Well, we've got some rain in the forecast tonight and the possibility mm -hmm. of strong storms tomorrow. We do. We have a next weather alert day already issued for tomorrow. We've talked about this for yeah. days, and this setup just gets more and more complex, and uh, the severity keeps going up and up and up. It looks like so, a lot of rain next week. Yeah, yeah, we've got, we've got <laughs> that on top of this. All right, I want to walk you quickly through what's going to happen this evening, and then I really want to get to tomorrow so you'll be prepared. Look at beautiful Bethlehem. Everybody is out enjoying themselves. A gorgeous day. In the Lehigh Valley, I think you probably saw as much sunshine as everybody else. Now be prepared because we're going to start to see these clouds moving in. And you could see some scattered showers and storms within the next several hours. Outside across Center City, we have blue skies, but you notice there's a little haze out there. That is that storm system that is beginning to move toward the area. 87 right now in Philadelphia. Our high today was 89. We feel like 88. The dew point 64, so we're a little bit sticky out there. Not as bad as we've seen this summer so far though. Here's where we're going to be dropping to into the low 80s by 7. We're looking at 75 at 11 o'clock tonight. We'll have rain and some scattered storms in the area and 73 by 2 o'clock in the morning. You'll bottom out somewhere in the low 70s where you live by the time you wake up tomorrow morning. Now let's talk about tomorrow. The severe threat daytime scattered storms. These are not expected to be severe. Not a lot of them. We're going to get periods of sunshine. That's not good either because that helps disturb the atmosphere. It is in the evening that we could see this severe storms moving into the area. Right now, things are quiet. Again, you can see a few clouds beginning to build in. But here comes that leading edge of storms for tonight. Now, these, again, not expected to be severe, but could have some very heavy rain with them. And they're out ahead of a warm front that's moving through the area. This entire setup is not good for us because we are now looking at the possibility of isolated tornadoes and damaging wind and large hail. Right where you see that brown, that's an enhanced risk. If you look at the top, that's level three out of five. I mentioned earlier the last time we were in this risk, we did see tornadoes. So I need you to be prepared for tomorrow evening. Anything is going to be possible. The remainder of the area, I'm talking to all of you in Bucks County up into Lehigh Valley, parts of Burlington County, you're in a slight risk. Doesn't mean that you couldn't see a tornado, just not quite as favorable. Here's the tornado risk. It's a it's a five percent risk. And you're saying, well, that brown area, five percent, that doesn't doesn't sound like a lot, but in the weather world, 5% is a lot. When you're in that 5% risk for tornadoes, you got to keep an eye to the sky. Here is our wind risk. We're in the 30% chance of damaging winds, and here is the large hail, a 5% chance of large hail. So all items are on the table for tomorrow. We have this set up. Several little systems have to go by. We have a trough, which is a dip in the jet stream in between all of this. So we have three items that will cross the area making a mess. Here we go tonight. Some scattered showers and storms. Any storm could dump up to an inch of rain. Here we are three o'clock in the morning, still rolling through. Here we are seven o'clock in the morning, still rolling through. We get a little break. 1.30 in the afternoon, some scattered showers and storms. Then here comes the big stuff. 6.30 in the evening. These are going to be strong to we have to keep an eye on them. Still going at 10 o'clock. Then we see it tapering off at about 1.30 in the morning. Things clear out and we get a few scattered showers out there on our Tuesday. Here are our threats. Heavy rain, that's pegged on high. Damaging winds, that wind is also pegged on high. We have a moderate risk of those tornadoes and also that large hail. So you have to be prepared. Have a plan for you, your family, your kids. Be prepared for tomorrow evening. Next weather alert day tomorrow. Of course, we're going to be starting early in the morning with Kate tomorrow. Bill will be here with Andrew in the afternoon and then things quiet down for a couple of days before more rain moves in later in the week. Aziza? Thank you so much, Tammy. That's right. Be prepared.